Professor Henry Arina Itwe, who represented the Macquarie University Vice Chancellor at the commemoration of International Day of Education, explained that Macquarie takes pride in partnering with other institutions of learning. He underscored the need to celebrate education since it encourages people to secure their future and take on meaningful opportunities for personal good and societal transformation. Education is the greatest equalizer. That statement says quite a lot that uh, uh, children of peasants from very remote areas can get education and become ministers, become uh, presidents, etc. The UNICEF resident representative in Uganda, Dr. Munil Safeldin, highlighted the need to channel financial investments to the education sector for better outcomes. He also raised concern over the rising number of school dropouts and called for sustainable solutions. Uganda has made a high-level political commitment to investing in people. Parents responded in an amazing way. At the moment, there is a huge, great demand for education by almost every parent in Uganda. Every year, 2.2 million children are voluntarily enrolled in primary grade one by their parents. This is excellent. Jonathan Kamana, an education expert at the Ministry of Education and Sports, noted that this year's commemoration of the International Day of Education also marks 25 years of universal primary education in Uganda. He highlighted the different achievements by the Ministry of Education in the previous years, which includes the ease of admitting learners with special needs in all institutions of learning. So we are emphasizing the girls are here to go and at the state as government. That's a deliberate effort to ensure that all children get education. We also ensure that learners with disabilities who have special needs are admitted to our institutions. But we're also reaching out to areas which are hard to reach by providing hard to reach allowance that where we think teachers cannot go, they cannot stay and cannot be adapt the situation there, we increase their salary by 35 percent. Rosemary Agoyi, the Secretary General of Uganda National Commission for UNESCO, called for a review of the education offered to match with the changing times. She added that the education scene is evolving and we should adapt to the changes. So we have a choice. Either we go like that business as usual, or we stand up and act and cause yeah. a transformation. The International Day of Education is celebrated annually on 24th January. For every child, there is need for equitable and inclusive education so that the right skills and opportunities are offered to enable the children achieve their full potential. Gloria Irankunda, Church of Uganda Family TV, News at 8.